Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to use the every method to check that every element in an array meets the criteria. The every method works with arrays to check if every element passes a particular test. It returns a boolean value true if all values meet the criteria, false if not. For example, the following code would check if every element in the numbers array is less than 10. And so there's a number in here that's more than 10. So the very numbers is equal, a variable of numbers is equal to an array. And there's a lot of numbers in here, notably a 11, which is greater than 10. So numbers.every function, and then so we say the function is the current value, and then within there, we're passing uh, the um, body of the function, where we return the current value is less than 10. So if the current value was all less than 10, this would return false, but because there's an 11 in here, it returns uh, false. It would, otherwise, it would return true. Use every method inside the check positive function to check if every element in the array is positive. The function should return a Boolean value. Okay, cool. So the first thing we should do is, well, we're going to do really similar to this guy, right? It's going to be array dot every. And then within here, we're going to do function and we're going to go current value. Um, let's actually just do value. I like to mix it up to show that you have control over what you call these variables. Um, and then in within here, we're going to return if the value is less greater than zero. So the way every work is it goes through here. Is this element greater than zero? Yes. Is this element greater than zero? Yes. Is this element greater than zero? Yes. And uh, as long as that's happening, nothing happens. But if the value is uh, not greater than zero, then we return with a false. And so let's go console.log uh, value. And you can see that we're going through and it's iterating through one, two, three, four, but then it stopped at four. Why is that? Because four, negative four is not greater than zero. And therefore it rendered out to false. And if we run the tests, um, it doesn't actually happen. So what happens here it gets to negative four, but this returns false, and then every comes back and returns false, but we don't have anything yet. So what we need to do is call this out, right? So we could assign this to a variable. We could say, let the result equal that. And then when we console.log here, we would have the result. you'll see that it comes to false. So here, uh, result becomes set to false, but if we don't save it and then return that result, uh, then we have a, an issue in that our check positive doesn't work. Now, my guess is this will pass the tests. Okay, cool. Now, how about refactoring? Does this look clean to you? Doesn't look super clean to me. Um, we don't need this console log in here now that we've got the right answer. Uh, let's see, we could uh, console.log the result, and that'll just make it so that we can see what we're working with. So if we get an error, it'll point it out here for us. Um, well, what's the first thing that we can do? Well, we could use arrow functions here, right? Uh, that gets, keeps us alive and it shortens up the code a little bit. Now, do we have to assign this to a variable of result? No, no, we could just return whatever happens here. So instead of assigning this to a result, we could decomment this and then just say return directly from there. And then we're still getting false. Okay, and this is actually pretty short. We could, might be able to put this on one line, right? Yeah. That actually looks cleaner. Cool. So this is kind of the, uh, and if we just change this one to V, because this is a very simple, fast function, we could make it even shorter. And then it's very succinct. It's actually longer than the console log, which it takes to be created. Anyways, run the tests. So yeah, this is just the refactored down version that you could use if you wanted to. Um, but I thought the long way is a good way to kind of show you the thought process behind it. And uh, so, yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you in the next lesson.